Okay, so this Lenovo Yoga um, model 500-14 IBD was having this weird issue. So when it's plugged in, as you can see, it throttles the CPU to 0.49 gigahertz or 0.5. If I unplug it, then the CPU will actually speed up, see? So I unplugged it and now it's it's going fast. So I found a workaround. Um, there's supposed to be a BIOS update that'll fix it, but I guess Lenovo stopped supporting this model. So it, it just, um, yeah, even the latest BIOS doesn't fix the problem. So here's what you do to fix it. Um, you go to Google um, and just search this throttle stop. Um, you'll see the first link by this techpowerup.com. Click that. And then it'll go to this website. Just click download here. It'll download a zip file. So you click that, click whatever, whichever ones you want that's closer to your location. And then save it wherever your computer, your browser might just save it directly to the downloads folder. But I set it to save to the desktop. So once you do that, close that. You'll see this throttle stop. Your icon might be different. So to make this more of a uniform thing, um, I'll right click it and then just open with Windows Explorer because that's probably what most people have by default if they didn't download anything. So what you do now, right click the desktop or anywhere you want to save it um, and then do a new folder. Then just copy all of this and put it into that new folder. All right. So I already did this, so the settings might already be defaulted, but open the folder. You can name the folder throttle stop if you want. Um, after you do that, just uh, open the folder and then open up this throttle stop program. If it asks you for permission to run it, just say yes. So right now, um, the settings are here. <laughs> Mine's on dark mode, so it's all dark like this. But basically, the one thing you want to do is turn off this BD Pro Shot thing, whatever that is. So as you can see, I turned that off and now it's two gigahertz. If I turn it back on, you see it drops back to 0.5. So turn that off, save the setting here. I like to go to the options here and then just go through here and see, um, I don't like this program, the program to be open. So what I do is I have it start minimized and then it minimizes on close. So that way if you close it, it keeps the program open. Um, let me see here. So once you do that, um, so I check these, start minimize, start on close. Okay, sorry, somebody called and it distracted me. But um, once you do that, just click OK. Um, and then if you close this, as you see at the bottom, um, you'll still have, you'll have this little icon here. Okay. So that's how you get that running. Um, but you don't want to have to manually open this every single time. So what you want to do is you go to the start menu and then you can actually search task, um, scheduler. So just search that in the bottom. You don't need to click anywhere. You just um, open the start menu, right? And then type task scheduler. So once you do that, open the task scheduler. <clears throat> so in the task scheduler, I'm going to show you again from manually. But what you do is you go to action, um, create task. So there's going to be all these settings you want to do. So you can name this whatever you want. I do the throttle stop. Okay, so you name it throttle stop. Description, you can write whatever. I just, um, so let me show you the one I already set up, but basically it's gonna show these windows. So if you go to the test scheduler library after you create it, you'll see. So this is the one I created. So you do that, and then in the description I put, it keeps the CPU from throttling when plugged in. Um, the users, you can put whatever. Um, I put run only when a user is logged on because I'm worried if a user is logged off, it might not be running in the background. Um, but it's if it works, you can try that. Um, and then you have to click run with highest privileges because it has to run as an, admin, uh, as an administrator or it won't work. And then I put hidden so it doesn't um, pop up. And then I configured it for Windows 10. All right, then you go to triggers and you'll see 
um, you would create, you would click new, but I already created this one. So the trigger, what I put is I want it to start at logon and any user can log on. Okay. Then you don't want it to delay or anything like that. Um, you don't want it to expire. So yeah, that's it. So after you do that tab, then you want to go to the actions and then <clears throat> you create a new action. So just click new, but this is what I set up. Um, the action is to start a program and you just browse for the program. So I actually put the folder in my program files folder so I don't accidentally delete it, um, but it can be anywhere. So if you left it on the desktop, you can browse to your desktop and then you can go to the, the folder you created and just double click that and open it. Okay, so that's what I set up and you don't need to put any arguments or anything. So once you do that, go to conditions. Um, don't have it start if only when the computer's idle because you want it to start all the time. And then you don't want it to start only on AC power because if you're running it on battery, you still want the program to start. So make sure to uncheck this one. And then let's see. And then you want this, allow it to run on demand, run the task as soon as possible and then check that one as well. All right, and that's pretty much it. Once you do that, you can restart the computer and it will keep the program running on its own. You can check the bottom corner, All right? If this helped you, um, please like and subscribe and yeah, it'll really help me out. All right, thanks for watching, bye.